the Kwandamooka people and the Kwandamooka coast is inextricably linked to, to the, the Brisbane River, Mianjin, um, in a number of ways. First is obviously from our long ancient uh, culture and our neighbours, the Yagara and Turubu. There's the dreaming stories that link and bind us as well. So the story of the creation stories of the river feeding out into Kwandamooka, which is Moreton Bay, um, and linking to our dreaming stories, which are creation stories about dugong herds and um, how the islands were formed and separated. So for us, that connectivity between the river and the bay is linked between our um, cultural ties with our neighbouring groups. And uh, so that's a, a really long and ancient sort of connection that, that binds us together in uh, not only cultural but spiritual ways, which is, which is amazing. And then we have the modern context of how um, Kwandamooka country and Kwandamooka coast is on the doorstep of the Brisbane River. And so it's been a really exciting few um, couple of years in terms of how we actually unlock and interconnect between the river and the bay. Um, and those are exciting times. We looked at uh, partnering with the Yuggera on um, a, a cruise from the CBD down the river where the Yuggera are talking about their dreaming and creation stories of the Brisbane River. And as we enter into the Moreton Bay, um, the Kwandamooka people then taking over and talking about our dreaming stories for the, and taking them over to Minjeriba, over to North Stradbroke Island um, to see, experience Kwandamooka country as well. So there's those exciting um, sort of ventures that we're looking at, um, which will then take in partnerships, strategic partnerships with the likes of um, Queen's Wharf, Howard Smith Wharves, the new, new cruise ship terminal. Uh, so unlocking those access points along the river and taking people out to experience the delights of the, the bay. Um, one of the exciting things that we're progressing is World Heritage Listing for Kwandamooka Country, um, which will include that. So that will, uh, as we progress that, that will shine a light on the, the cultural and the environmental values of, of the bay and, um, and will progress in terms of create, generating a new global perspective of, of the Brisbane River leading out to, to uh, a World Heritage listed Kwandamooka coast. The opportunities for connecting tourists to the bay is, is growing. Um, there's, there's opportunities to look at things that are happening in terms of um, access points being cruise ship terminals, second runway uh, at the, the Brisbane airport, and how we um, look at different ac accessibility options for getting people to access different, um, different products. So we're in a really strong product development phase. We're looking at infrastructure around cultural centres and whale interpretive facilities. So for us, where our vision is to look at not just have um, whale watching, which we're, we're embarking on whale watching out in the bay, which is another great feature that, that people from Brisbane can look at, but uh, we're actually positioning ourselves to be a global whale conservation, research, education and tourism hub. So how we work with um, government, with industry, with universities, um, to look at that, that beautiful partnership that um, our traditional knowledge in a modern, in modern science can combine to create a really unique experience for people who want to come down the river and actually get out and experience Kwandamooka Coast, which has got such a rich diversity. It's got, um, you know, it's not, not very often that you can get an experience when an Aboriginal guide takes you and you see a koala and a whale in the same day in the wild. And so for us, those type of experiences are something that are extremely exciting. Um, and we're really keen to, you know, position not only the Kwandamooka Coast, but also um, the Brisbane as a city and the river um, to all combine to deliver what can be such a unique experience as well. A major thing for us is our connection to country and caring for country is, is the foundation of any tourism product. So for us, investing in caring for country through our rangers program, so we manage the national parks on, the, on Minjeriba and we also, um, we also manage the campgrounds as well and we do that um, in a way that we're actually caring for country and cultural heritage um, helps um, provide the layer that we plan everything else around. And then we have our Kwandamooka Festival which runs three months of the year from June to August and that provides another layer where we're actually out there um, practicing culture, whether it's dance, uh, music, uh, visual arts, weaving. And so continuation of cultural uh, practice provides another, not only, and sharing that in a festival atmosphere, not only 
drives forward our cultural practice, but it also enables the broader community to celebrate Kwanamuka country culture and people. And by investing in country, caring for country, investing in culture, that um, very fact then enhances your tourism product. And so if that's not taken care of at that fundamental level, your tourism product's going to drop, your national parks are going to be managed properly, and you won't have a strong cultural product. Um, so that's really a key focus, and, and revitalization of language too is another one. So um, the festival and those opportunities to experience um, caring for country of, of what the Kwanamuka people are doing on country is quite unique as well. There's, there's currently an economic transition strategy that's occurring on the island and the, we're partnering with the state government and the local council and business to, to look at um, 23 projects that will basically um, transform the island away from a, a mining based economy to new sustainable industries and tourism is the major one for that. So we're embarking on a number of projects, one's a cultural centre that will be um, developed and designed by the, led by the Kwanamuka people to develop and design but it's also uh, the potential to be a showcase of contemporary Indigenous arts of First Nations people um, from around Australia and, and across the globe actually. So uh, we're keen to look at how we can contribute to the broader region's um, aspirations in becoming that new world city um, and we believe that uh, that cultural centre will be one of those aspects. We're also looking at um, developing a whale interpretive facility um, so we've got a strong land based whale watching on Minjeriba, North Strabrack Island and we also got a whale watching permit but partnering with government and, and institutions like the University of Queensland, there's an opportunity to actually develop a, like a conservation research um, and education and tourism hub for whales. So for us, we've currently got a full humpback whale skeleton um, that was uh, salvaged in 2011, uh, that beached up on Main Beach on Minjeribar, and that's currently being held by the um, Queensland Museum, ready to return to its final resting place on Minjeriba, and that'll form part of this um, I guess the conservation aspect for us, given that Tangaluma, um, Tangaluma on Morton Island was a, a whale watching, a whale, um, actual whale uh, industry facility that was actually destroying the animals. Um, we've now moved on from that uh, to, to actually a global conservation effort and so it's going to be an exciting time for that. And of course there's other things that we're focusing on, um, uh, a centre for island learning. So. We're actually looking to um, link in with education institutions and international education to come across, learn about for, um, Kwanamuka uh, culture um, and the flora and fauna and the history of, of the bay as well, which is where, where the um, colony was first set up. And so there's a lot of European history that um, around the bay that people are interested in as well and we're keen to link in with that. We're doing master planning of recreational trails across the island as well and we're investigating great walks. Um, for Mulgumpin as well with the state government and a number of boutique um, accommodation sites as well. So looking at a whole range of programs and pro products that will, will basically enhance the, the Moreton Bay region, um, which will be, like we say, um, the Kwanamuka Coast is, is an opportunity to experience Aboriginal culture on Brisbane's doorstep and that's, that's what we're really keen to do. For us, Kwanamuka Country is a cultural and wildlife sanctuary and um, that's our approach to it, so everything falls out of that and that's, that's a unique opportunity for people to, to look at. There's a whole range of other things. Uh, the whale watching permit that came to us, the Quantum Bucket Festival is one of those initiatives, so how we grow that. It's now um, Tourism Events Queensland, they've got it now as an iconic Queensland event. So for us, we're, we're progressing that. Uh, and, and we're also looking at um, how we can develop interpretive signage across the island, how we can look at some of those um, selfie moments in terms of uh, public art, um, and public art trails that would link in with a whole range of different things as well. And the other um, uh, interwoven aspect is upgrade of the, where the, where the owners of Minjeriba Camping, which is the six holiday parks and the foreshore camping on the island, and uh, how we interwove, weave the upgrade to those facilities, which are glamping cabins, etc., over time as well. So um, it, it all fits into that beautiful um, amenity of uh, visiting Kwandamooka country, uh, meeting Kwandamooka people, being hosted by them to learn about culture and about the environment.
there's some real opportunities for, for us to strategically partner with industry and government um, and businesses about how we realise that vision of a global eco-cultural tourism destination. And for us, there's a number of partners that are already come to us to, to look at how we can work together. And I think um, therein lies the opportunity is, is to look at if you share that vision, um, how if you want to be involved, then to just contact us and look at what opportunities may lay in delivery of those projects. We're always looking for equity partners and investors on um, that have the, share the same philosophy as us. A lot of opportunities to look at, um, you know, eco accommodation, um, joint ventures for, for tourism product. So uh, we're currently out there talking to other um, tour existing tourism operators. So how we actually partner with them, whether they're, you know, helicopters or um, light aircraft or kayaking. So how we can actually um, work in together to create uh, a really unique product um, in collaboration. So yes, we're, we're right into collaboration and um, you know, there's some really great opportunities for us to work together to, to realise something special.